If you don't understand yourself, you will definitely read the wrong, wrong books. You definitely follow the wrong persons. Now, I do tell people that the most important thing is you, not the books, not the clips, not the podcast, not the, the, the speaker, not, not the messages, but you, not the information, but you. The most important thing is the processor, not the, the material being processed per se. Okay, so no matter the amount of book you read or no matter the type of book, book you read, if you don't have a quality sense of thinking, a quality kind of mind that could actually harness those information and process it to, pro to produce something worthwhile, you might, you might as well be wasting your time. Okay? All right. Hey, what's up guys? Welcome back to my channel. If this is your first time, please hit that subscribe button and also hit the bell icon so that you will be the first to know when I post new videos. And on today's video, I want to be talking about being 18, like being 18 year old, what are those things you correct and what are those things that you love to do if you are given the opportunity to be 18 again? Welcome back guys, as you can see I have with me a guest and his name is Jerry. IAB and he's a final year student of veterinary medicine department in the University of Nigeria and Tuka and he's also very passionate about changing the narrative of the black man's mentality. Okay, so Mr. Jerry, if you're yeah. given the opportunity to be 18 again, yeah. what are those things that you would love to change? Just okay. two points. Just two points. Wow. Many things. <laughs> okay, so so just to just basically those two things I would love to change. The very first one would be knowing knowing who I who I am or who I was at that point in time because that is very very essential. If I had known, if I had understood myself, to know what I want to do, to know what I want, to have gone a long way, so that we don't end up making the wrong decisions and we don't end up following the wrong paths and following the wrong persons towards achieving our goals. So just knowing who I was earlier or who I am earlier would would have really gone a long way. Then secondly following the right people. Although the first point spills over the second one, because if you don't know who you are, you won't make the right decisions, you won't follow the right person. So you just make wrong decisions altogether. So following the right person. If I had followed, if I had followed the right person, I think I would be better now. Yeah, I would so, be better. <laughs> so, so at what age did you become self-aware? Okay, self-awareness started at 2021. 20, wow. 21. So how did it start? How did it start? Uh, get, I was I was I was tired of not knowing <laughs> who I was because I was not you I was not having results. So okay. I needed to you know look back and go back to the drawing board and look deep within and try to figure out okay who are you who are, who am I and then I started seeing some things then I started having some some ideas about what I want to do really and who and who I I want to follow. So everything became clearer and clearer. So I think at that age, 2021, 20, yeah. I was having some sort of clarity. Okay. Right. <laughs> so if you're 20, if you're 20, 21, 22, yeah. it's not too late for you. Not at all. To so discover who you are and to discover what you love to do and yeah. to have and to be self out and to be self aware. So um, at 18, where were you? Where was that? Yes. <laughs> Okay, 18. I, I was in UN then. I was in UN at, at 18. I was yeah. in what year? I think I was in second year wow. or third year. Second year? Yeah. Second year. <laughs> Meaning you got in to university at 16, at 17. 17, 17. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Wow. I, I think I was in my second year. So how was, so how was it for you? It was, as, 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 as I said, <laughs> at that time I don't know anything about myself. So I don't think we were just going to classes, you know, going for lectures, reading our books. There was nothing about self-perception, there was nothing about self-awareness, there was nothing about goals and dreams. There was nothing at all about impact and value. So it was just dry and so right. all that. So it was just a triangular life. Yeah. From yeah. home to school, to church, from home yeah. to school. And that is something that a lot of 18-year-olds are doing now. Just living a triangular life from home to school to church, from home to school to church. And that is a very wrong thing to do. So, what so if you were to see your 18 year old self, what is that one advice or let me say in, in uh, two points, what are those two things that you would love to, to say to your 18 year old self? First of all, understand yourself. It's the most important thing and stop reading the wrong books. 
if you don't understand yourself, you will definitely read the wrong, wrong books. You definitely follow the wrong persons. Now, I do tell people that the most important thing is you, not the books, not the clips, not the podcast, not the, the, the speaker, not, not the messages, but you, not the information, but you. The most important thing is the processor, not the, the material being processed per se. Okay, so no matter the amount of book you read or no matter the type of books, book you read, if you don't have a quality sense of thinking, a quality kind of mind that could actually harness those information and process it to, pro- to produce something worthwhile, you might, you might as well be wasting your time, okay? So I think we need to work on our quality of thinking, on our mind, on our mind strata, our quality of thinking. That is most important. How we perceive life, what we are aiming for, our ambitions, our goals, because that will affect what we do with information. Right? So if someone, somebody may have a very good information about what about life or, or so, but then because he can't see, he doesn't have a foresight, he doesn't have a mind that think far, he won't do much with that information. So I think the most important thing is, first of all, try to discover yourself, try to discover who you are. At least try to know one or two things you like to do or you want to do, then build on that. Build on that. So let's build, let's, let's build on our minds, let's make ourselves grow. Let's, try to grow our minds, to think fast, to think better, then the information comes, we can process it into something great, okay? So, so if you are giving the person to get in the game, yeah. will you accept it? Yes, yes, yes. Oh. I, well, I would, but to be, well, <laughs> but it's not necessary because I can still do a whole lot. Yes. I'm still very young. I can still do a whole lot from here, so I don't think it's necessary, but I would accept it at least. I wouldn't, I wouldn't have done some of the things I did. I wouldn't have gone into the paths, some of the paths I, I went into that were, that was not mine. And I think I would have more results. But it's not so late anyways. So, yeah. So thank you very much, Mr. Jerry. Thank you for sharing your essence. Thank you for sharing your story. And so thank you for inspiring uh, my viewers out there. So I hope you come next time if I definitely try invite you. All the time. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so thanks. Guys, if you enjoyed this video, please hit that subscribe button, hit the bell icon so that you'll be the first to know when I post the video. Also, share the video. You can also follow Jerry on his um, social media platform. So, what is yours? Social media platform. I am Jerry. Okay. I yeah. Jerry. Is, is it Facebook or Instagram? Facebook, Instagram, Twitter. So, Facebook, Instagram, LinkedIn. I am Jerry. Yeah. Just check him, check him out there and see how he's doing the amazing thing he's doing. So, he's also a final year student of veterinary medicine, meaning he's already a doctor. So. Am I fit to call you Dr. Jerry? Not yet. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, so guys, thanks for watching. Thank you guys. I'll see you in the next one. Ciao.